Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I'm going to wait for a few people to tune in tonight. <laughs> And we're going to get started in the Word of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. This is what we're actually talking about tonight. The enemy pressured me and pressed on me tonight before I even got a chance to preach tonight to the body of Christ. And I'm entitling the message, Are You Possessed or Oppressed? Amen. Are You Possessed or Oppressed? Brother Doby, God bless you. Sister White, amen. Thank you for tuning in. I love y'all. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, Sister White. God bless you. Amen. God evening, everyone. God how timely is, That's right. is this message? How timely is this message? Let me tell yes. you. Ooh. So Amen. many people going through right now. They are going through. Amen. But hey, you know, there I'm is never no said. discharge in the service of God. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you something. I've never seen such a time of demonic attack. Ooh, I, I've know, never seen such a job. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's right. You know, it is a time of, you know, they lived, my grandmother lived through the Great Depression. It is a time of spiritual Great Depression right now where there's a lack of spiritual food, Shoraba Kashanda, and a lack mm. of spiritual water in the body of Christ. Mm. Glory. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Like Jesus said, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. There, yes. there is a great depression in the spirit right now. I think I know what I'm going to preach on next week. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you, Lord. Henry, people are, are um, saying they're tired, that mm -hmm. they don't think God's going to do anything to change anything, and that if following yeah. him means this, they don't want to do it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's that time I've that we have to... Before. <laughs> yeah, it's that time that we have to know that we know that we know that if God mm -hmm. has chosen us to do this, we've got to walk it, no matter Amen. what. I mean, no matter what it looks like. Because Amen. if we're in the fire, who's there with us? Remember when the three Hebrew boys were thrown in that yeah. fire? Who's the fourth one in the fire? He's bigger. He was than there with us. Them. Yes. And Thank so you, Jesus. their clothes didn't even smell like smoke. Mm, Jesus. And, and nothing was singed. But you know that if they were thrown Amen. in there bound up, their bonds were loosened in the fire. Amen. The all that's an interesting point. The only thing that got them in the fire was their bonds. Their bonds got broke by the fire. I still believe it was the fire of the Holy Ghost that burned the bonds. Thank you, Jesus. I do too, because Lord, of their clothes were sins. They didn't they yeah. they didn't even smell like smoke. Can you imagine the king is walking around smelling them? Mm, you don't even come smell, on. smell you, like Jesus. smoke. You know he had to say, what Whoa. just happened? I know I know that I heated up that fire seven times hotter. Now, here's something interesting. Do you know the reason they heated it up seven times hotter? It was the seven. actual process. It was the process they would go through to make gold. Oh. To refine. Wow. Fine gold. So they threw God's gold in the fire and it got refined. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we Thank get you, the Jesus. benefit of Jesus. knowing Amen. about it and having our faith built by it. Glory to God. Yep. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I believe it was, was it, uh, uh, who was, Rabbi Gamaliel that said 
said, if this thing is of God, it will grow and you'll be fighting against God. But if it's not, then it'll die out. Yeah. Rabbi Gramalian said that about Christianity. He said, leave these men alone, these men of God. He said, for if what they're doing is of man, it'll die out. But if it's yes. of God, it will grow and you'll fight against God. They put us in the lion's dens. They put us and, and tortured us in all kinds of ways, even mentally, emotionally, physically. But they still couldn't kill it. The church continued to grow. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And, you know, it was interesting. I just want to say, I didn't mean to get the preaching right there, but there's something no, coming over me in the supernatural right there. Yes. Thank you. There's fire. There's fire being breathed by his prophets right now. Fire. Because you see how he's thinking. It, it says that the enemy in the last day, didn't say it any other day, it said in the last day, he would come to wear out the saints. Yes. That's what he's doing. It's yes. his job. We can't really get mad at him. Oh, well, Lord have mercy. She got cut off. Hold on. I'm going to try to add you back on the call. Hold on. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. There you are. Amen. What happened? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I went to share the video, you know, to other people, oh, and it just yeah. cut it completely off. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, well I'm, you're not I'm allowed to still share. here. <laughs> wow. So go ahead and uh, sing tonight. Lay, lay out what's on your heart before the Lord, because I hear the Lord say he's given you a word to say before you sing. I heard the Lord say he's given you something in your spirit. It's a time of fire for his prophets. Mm. He's, oh, he keeps pointing me back to the Garden of Gethsemane when they came to oh, arrest brother. him. Jeez. And when they said, are you Jesus of Nazareth? And he said, I mm. am he. And they fell back on their butts. Mm. He's Jesus. telling me, don't forget who you are and whose you are and what power is inside of you look we're not doormats we were not yes, brought God. to the place where we are by almighty god to be treated just any old way people want to treat yes, us God. he's yes. not going to allow that it's time Amen. for Amen. his remnant to rise and to rise to who mm. they are and to stop hiding Jeez. and to stop refusing to speak and to stop them from holding their tongue. That's what he's telling us. He even showed that he's Thank sending you. the fire. Look what happened to the LGBT yes. church, right? Yes. They struck it twice and they burned to the ground. They had just celebrated Pride Parade, okay? Mm. A church. And Pride coming guess before what? The, fall. the fire engines couldn't get to the church because of mm. all the parades. Jesus. <laughs> Look at God, on, the very on. thing. And then he struck a church yesterday, and he put Ooh. a hole in the church, and at the same time, another lightning bolt struck the cross off the top of that church. Wow. You think wow. he's Thank not you telling you them a message? I am not here, and how know, dare you use my cross? Now, you know, that is powerful. And I just thought of something. I, I remember with Isaiah, he was prophesying woes on everybody. Up till Isaiah chapter 5, he was prophesying woes on everybody. Then he says, woe is me, for I, I am undone in the presence of Almighty God. But notice something. There was fire on the altar. And and the angel took the coal from off the fire. Do you know for a good fire you need coal? You need something to stoke the fire? I believe yes. that God is burning down the churches by the fire of God that's on the altar. Come on now. 
Oh, mm. glory to God. Mm. Oh, consuming fire. He told me, he, he, I saw a picture of us standing before the Lord when we pray, Henry. We are yeah. engulfed in that all-consuming fire. I'm talking about yes, the flames. Lord. When we raise our hands to pray to Almighty God right now, Yes. There is fire coming off of us. There is fire flying off of Thank our fingers. Jesus. He's giving mm. us that all-consuming mm. fire so that we Thank can Jesus. come up against this enemy and push it back into the gates of hell where it came from. Amen. Drive it back. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. That's what this Amen. is about because so long he Amen. has been wearing us out. But it's our time to wear him out. Yes. You got it? Come on. Hey, yes. Thank you, Jesus. You We're not going to be God. impressed by you anymore. So you want our job thank fine, you, God can give us a better one. So you want Amen. something else Amen. fine. Amen. We're storing up our treasures in heaven anyway. We're tired of this. We're tired of Amen. Heaven, Amen. But, we, but we're tired of, of, and we're tired because we haven't taken our rightful place that God gave us. He said, you will Amen. trample That's on right. these snakes and scorpions. I've given you the Come dominion, on. the power, Come and on. the authority. It's time to use it. If you're being treated like a doormat, it's your own fault. Because Come on. I didn't Sister, raise you man. to be that. Amen. We are a royal Thank and Jesus. peculiar priesthood of Almighty God. And people yes, just want to you, stomp us down because we don't fit their cookie cutter version of what a Christian mm. is. But their cookie Come cutter on, version sister. is cut out of a faulty cookie cutter. So mm, it's time for them me. to go back to the throne of God and, and seek his face and repent and learn what it is they should be doing for him in this season and to quit quit laying down and letting mm. the wickedness trample over them if you don't amen. want it in your church then speak up speak come speak on up. amen and don't be afraid to speak up because god's given you the authority to do it and if they won't listen amen. honey dust your feet and walk on come on amen Man, I know it's someone that needed to hear that tonight. I'm going to send this message to them. It's Hallelujah, so time. Jesus. It's so time. Look what Judas so, didn't know. What? Look what Judas yes, that's what I was didn't gonna ask. know. He didn't know. Mm. No, he walked with Jesus for three and a half years. Mm. He saw mm. him raise mm. Lazarus from the dead. He saw the miracles with his own eyes. He saw what he Jesus saw him cast did. out demons. Yes, and so he had three and a half years to examine him, but yet he missed the whole Ooh. point of Jesus's ministry, the whole Come on. point, and he sold out for silver, and when he realized what he did, he Ooh, ended up throwing his silver out. into the streets, and remember, when he talks about the church of Laodicea, he says, now it's time Come for them on. to buy gold refined in the fire, and to buy robes Hallelujah. from him. Because he's not going to cover them in his blood anymore. They got to buy the robes. Now it's with their blood. They got to buy mm -hmm. the Isaac. Buy, buy, Come buy. On. Not the free gift of grace and mercy any longer. Come now on. you got to buy go it. through it to get something now. Yes. So. Amen. That will show you right there that they was entered into the tribulation right there. Yes. Amen. Because. Thank you, Jesus. What does he say? I will vomit you out of my, my mouth. mouth. Why do we vomit yeah. something out of our mouth? Because it makes because us sick. Uh -huh. And on. it has to be oh. in the body to be vomited out. Come on. Hey, man, you're right. So these people who say these Thank aren't you, Christians, Jesus. that's not true. Because we are one body in Christ Jesus the Lord. With him as the head. Hey, and we're all many body members. Yeah. And we don't want to cause sickness in the body. Mm. Amen. So, so it's Thank time you, for us to do our part to pray and cast out the sickness and to really Amen. stand Thank in you, the Jesus. gap for our brothers and our sisters because we have to be ready 
at all times yes. with an answer for our faith. Yes. And the way we overcome the devil is by the witness of our testimony and through the blood Amen. of the Lamb. Amen. If you never testify, where's your testimony? Come on now. Now, that's a powerful word right there. That's Raina. Go ahead. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. See, it's that's the part that people say, well, I don't need to do anything. I don't need to go out there. I don't need to preach. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. Where's your testimony? Mm. Where's your love for Jesus? Where's your Come on. heart for the people? Give us a heart to care, Lord. I, I had this song given to me about, Lord, rain on your church. Rain your spirit down on your church. Let it yes. fall on yes. your church. Give us a heart yes, to care God. like you care about us. Yes, God. Stop being this selfishness, this self-centeredness. This it's a it's a form of selfishness to say there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I I'll be able to do for anyone. Did God tell mm -hmm. you that? Who told you that? Why are you listening on, to now. the enemy? Your Almighty God's Amen. child, start acting like it, and stop dining on milk and start digging into the meat. Get your Amen. Amen. House Amen. in order. We don't have a lot of time. We do not. We don't oh, have time to be playing around with people who are not serious about following the Lord. That is a powerful word right there. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Lord. But look, Jesus put up with, with this man with him all those years. But remember what he said when he came to him? Yes, I do mm. have need of a man like you. Because he knew <laughs> from where he came. But he didn't judge him right away. He gave him all that time to walk with him, to learn from yeah, him. Yeah, he so did. And he saw the works he's of the so Holy did. Spirit. And he saw the faith of his other brothers. He saw all the people that chose to be obedient. And he even Christ. walked in the same power. Yes, in the same power. No excuse. Come on. No excuse whatsoever. None. Amen. So I will see. So uh, go ahead and say, that, that, that's all right. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying, I, I'm getting me fed mm. by the Lord. God's feeding oh, me for this before I feed them. Oh, Shadadai, Shikori, Arahai, Shikori, Shikashi, Karenai. Lord, let these words yes, sink Lord. deep into the heart of people and them to understand what you are saying. Yes, let God. them understand yeah. what the Spirit is saying unto the church, O oh Lord. Yes. And to take yes, the appropriate God. actions, Father, while there is yet time. Oh, we give you glory. Yes. Thank you. He Thank you, Jesus. knew Jesus, knew his power, walked beside him day and night. Yes. So the blind man brought from darkness saw the dead man brought to life but he yes. somehow when he needed it the most and as he stood before that hanging tree I wonder why he didn't Do was asked, but that's 
what Judas didn't know. I know Jesus, Jesus walks beside me, and when I stumble, it breaks yes. his heart. But still, Jesus. he loves me, and when I come clean, I find myself in the safety of his arms. But yes, God. Lord, there is forgiveness, but he chose silver over streets of gold still face us love him and he would have saved his troubled soul oh, 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 oh. all he had to do was ask oh, But the saddest thing I know of is when God's children turn away from the grace that they've been given yes. just like yes. judas did that day but they choose silver and not forgiveness over the streets of gold, God offers them. Still Jesus loves them, and he will save your troubled soul. All you have to do is ask. That is what those who chose Jesus know. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your service tonight, for your glory for your power lord i thank you for the demonstration and power going forth on the broadcast tonight i thank you for no interruptions no sleight of hands from the enemy in jesus name lord thank you that the enemy is defeated and that the glory will come forward with power truth and understanding in jesus name amen glory hallelujah thank henry the anointing you, lord is heavy <laughs> Ooh, oh, yes, it is. I mean, I'm pulling it right now on me. Amen. So I'm going to get into the word in Jesus' name. Amen. If y'all got your Bible, thank you for singing tonight, sister. I've already sent you the new song to sing for Sunday. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory Amen. to God. I'm going to hang up Glory and let, Lord. You, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, let the Spirit have his way. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory, Lord. Amen. Thou, uh, Thou, <laughs> Isaiah 61, verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, and to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy, that's Hebrews 1 and 9, by the way, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise, for the spirit of heavens, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planted of the Lord, that he may be glorified. 
there's three things he said he wanted to give us while we were in spiritual mourning. Amen. There's three things he said he wanted to give us. The all of gladness. I didn't even know I was going here. The Lord just totally shifted my message. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. It's his message, not mine. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. To appoint to those that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes. That's the first thing. All for joy and the garment of praise with a spirit of heaviness. God wants you free from the spirit of oppression. But I want to ask you tonight, are you oppressed or are you possessed? The word oppression means to be weighed down. Like Paul said, I'm pressed about on every side. I'm pressed but not crushed persecuted but not abandoned. You might feel alone in this world today, but I want you to know God is right there with you. The Father in heaven sent his son to go through persecution so you would be able to hear him say, I know what you're going through, and it not be a cliched kind of word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. There are many different levels in life that we go through, but a new level is a new devil. Listen to me now. A spirit of heaviness, oppression, but God said, I want to give you a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. There's a lot of times when I've gone into church and I don't even feel like opening up my mouth. I don't feel like giving God a sacrificial praise within me. Mm, but we're to enter his courts with thanksgiving in our heart. We're to enter his gates. We're to enter his gates with thanksgiving in our heart, enter his courts with praise. So how can we expect to enter the courts of God unless we began to give God the praise and the glory? Come on, somebody. Do like David, a sacrificial drink offering before the Lord. Say, Lord, this is my drink offering. I'm giving this to you. I don't feel like it. We have become a people of feelings. We get our feelings in a knot. We get bowed down, then we get burdened up. We get a burr under our spiritual saddle, and we run around and show our tail to everybody and act mean as hell. Get out when we should just learn how to get back to the altar. Because, honey, until you learn to burn with the Spirit of God in you, then you're never going to get past the brazen altar. The brazen altar, the place where you grab the horn by the altar and you don't let go until you hear from God. You're all right, Tammy. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You grab the bull by the horn is what I've heard all them old folks say, but I've also heard the church folks say, Grab hold of the horns of the altar. Let me tell you something. The horns of the altar is where your dreams go to die. It's where everything goes to die. And you lay it before God, and that which is of God will live, but that which is of yourself will die. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah, Jesus. Your dreams may have died. You may have put a lot of stuff before God. And a lot's been stripped away. But I'm hearing the Lord say to tell you, if you let what needs to die, die, then I, I can bring to life 
what needs to live. I heard the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It works hand in hand with the, 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 the Spirit. Listen to me, y'all. The spirit of oppression works hand in hand with the spirit of infirmity. Luke 13, 11 through 16. The woman had been bound 18 years. <clears throat> Jesus was in church. And he was pre preaching and he seen the woman bound. And he said, and Satan has done this. He didn't say the doctors did this. Didn't say anybody else done this. Didn't even say she done it. He said Satan had done this. And she was the daughter of Abraham. She was of the family of faith, but still infirmed. And Jesus called her out as a demonstration. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. But a lot of people won't stop time enough from preaching their pleasant little sermons that they've written out and get, get into the things of the Holy Ghost and say, God told me to say this to you. God told me to do this for you. We're so caught up in our own show that we forgot who wrote the roster down. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Melissa, God bless you. Raquel, God bless you. Tammy, God bless you. I love every one of y'all. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. But the spirit of infirmity had bowed her down. She could not move. And Jesus said she's been this way for 18 years. And then the priest said, well, you shouldn't have done this. This was on Sunday. He said, no. Don't y'all just go out and get uh, the mules that are out on a ditch on Sunday, but you don't care about the woman of God that had been bound up by the devil for 18 years? He said, she sat in this church service every day for 18 years, and you, the church, the pastor, never done anything. That's why people are going into the house of God one way and leaving the exact same way that they came in there. That's why there's no Holy Ghost power in the churches that are dead because the pastor ain't preaching the power. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power of God. They say, oh, God told me to preach. They give five points in a prayer, and that's over with. And there's no power in them. There's no fire in their bones. Yes, God. Salia, God bless you. Amen. There's no Holy Ghost in those churches that, that preach with no demonstration of power. That means there is no power in that church. And with no power, there's no presence. But if there's presence, you'll have power. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Melissa got healed the other night. She had been infirm 10 years, and Jesus did a creative miracle and healed her. I give God the glory. Thank you, Jesus. No longer paralyzed by the power of God, she's healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So the... <laughs> Now, look at this. You got preachers today that like coming with these big doctrine messages that they love to give. But Paul said, I don't preach with enticing words of man, but what? what? With demonstration and power. Mm -hmm, Jesus, if we'll just learn to shut up and let God show up, Miracles will break out. I'm going to say that one more time. 
if we could learn to shut up and let God just show up, miracles would break out. Because believers are not supposed to follow the signs. The signs are supposed to follow the believers. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost all over me tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. That's why the enemy didn't want this message to come out. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. You better preach, Rebecca, Raquel. You better preach it. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. It works hand in hand. But now notice this. Jesus said Satan had made her sick. Satan. His name is the accuser, but in a verb that is used in the Jewish alphabet concerning the name Satan. Mm, thank you, Jesus. The name Satan means to obstruct or the one that blocks or the one that opposes. So Satan's name in Hebrew actually means the one that blocks. How many have been listening to the message and the enemy say, who do you think you are to receive a miracle from God? Who do you think you are? You said a bad word. You did a bad deed. You thought a bad thought against that guy that cut you off in traffic. What is your desire, and how do you think you can deserve it? Here's the answer. You don't deserve it. Only through the blood of Jesus is how you deserve your miracle. I love what the old song says, I've come by the way of the cross. One said, friend, how did you come here? What other deeds that you have done? And with tears in his eyes, I can hear him reply. There are no merits to my name, no works that I can claim. The one who brought me here. He told me to say, yes, Lord, that I've come by the way of the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Jesus did come in the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me say this. The enemy will lie and say you're not going to get your healing. But look back at your enemy and tell him when he reminds you of your past remind him of his future my elder brother jesus beat you with a stick two thousand years ago like the ugly dog you are hallelujah jesus glory to god and we got victory by the blood of jesus thank you lord jesus amen don't look at your situation look at the savior thank you jesus amen John 9, 2, and 3. They say, who sinned? Was it this man or his parents? He, Jesus said it was neither this man nor his parents. You'll be able to feel it very soon in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. The nerves are being healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Well, glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But they said, Lord, who is sin? This matter his parents. People are so anxious to put the sin on somebody else. Oh, wait a minute. 
There's a lot of people that want to put the sin on somebody else, but they don't know how to put it on Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. They don't know how to let that sin go that was in your life. They know about the sins of their own life, but they don't want to deal with that. They want to talk about your sin that you were in. But he said, no. He said, neither this man nor his parents have sinned, but that the glory of God may be revealed. People take that scripture and twist it out of context. And then doing so, block or hinder their own healing. Not everyone gets healed instantaneously. Look at the lepers. Luke 17, 14. They were, Mark 8, 24. They were healed as they went. But Mark 8, 24. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Jesus said to the man that was blind, what do you see? And he said, I see men as trees. So if he said, I see men as trees, help me, Holy Ghost, what does that mean? That the man must have seen before. Amen, Sister Tammy. They want the power but don't want to work for it. There's a price for the power. Amen. You're right. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But do you know, Sister White, I, I just got to tell you this. This is powerful. Did you know that when Je Jesus told them to go show themselves to the priest, it was not just an act of faith on their part to move limbs that they didn't have till they moved them. It was an act of forgiveness because they had to go and present a gift to the, the very ones, get this now, that can condemned them they had to go and forgive them and a lot of people just like the man at the well they're stuck in a spirit of unforgiveness they're stuck in scandalon and they're sitting there at the well saying there ain't nobody here to put me in the water jesus said go and send them more and the man was healed. What could a man paralyzed for 30 years possibly have done? He sat in a spirit of unforgiveness. He sat in a spirit of unforgiveness. And Jesus said, you're getting mad at everybody else getting their healing, but you're not excited about your own healing that I'm going to give you. That's why you're in the situation you're stuck in. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody better shout hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I feel the presence of God in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. But, but they block and hinder their own healing. Not everyone gets healed instantly. The man said, I see men as trees. And Jesus touched him a second time and said, what do you see? He said, I see perfectly. But to say I see men as trees, the only way he could have known what trees was is if he saw before, but somehow during the course of time lost his healing, lost his ability to see and needed a new healing from the heavenly Father. And God healed him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost. If you can't feel the Holy Ghost, something's wrong with y'all, my friend. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. He said, He said, Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Didn't say it'd be instantaneously. He said, They shall recover. And I looked up the word recover. Now, the Lord's been getting me on word studies lately. So I looked up the word recover. Listen to what it means in Hebrew. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Here's the, the word for recover means to find or regain possession. Of something that's been stolen. Oh, hey, your healing might have been stolen from you. 
Your mind may have been stolen from you. Your body functions may have been stolen from you. But I'm here by the Holy Ghost to tell somebody you may have lost it, but you're about to get back what you lost because of the cross. Thank you, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost on me right now. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So what does this have to do with oppression or possession? A lot of people think they're possessed when they're really oppressed. That's the whole message right there in a nutshell. They think they're possessed, but they're really oppressed. Hear me out. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to have to hurry up because my battery's about to die on me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Right when I got to what possession meant, <laughs> it cut out on me. The light did. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, amen. To possess means something that takes complete control over you. A lot of people are possessed. But let me tell you something. Possession is when you cannot help it. It takes complete control over you. You feel like you're a slave to it. That is possession. Oppression is when you feel like, God, I love you, but I just don't know how much more I can take of this. But let me tell you something, honey. Possession, uh, oppression can lead to possession. Possession is when a demon takes ownership over a human soul. And do you know what? 90% of the time when I've done deliverance and another minister did deliverance, Derek Prince, Brother Derek, would say the same thing I've learned. When casting out demons, the demons will respond 90% of the time. Nobody told me I had to leave. That's right. That's another thing that shows you're oppressed. You're feeling tired continuously. Did you know that the idea of not even, now check this out. You want to see demonic possession in the Bible? Look at Mark chapter 5, where it's talking about the man from Gadaria. And the man from Gadaria stayed up 24-7, never went to sleep. That's what happens when you do math. Stay. Stayed up 24-7, never went to sleep, crying in the tombs both day and night, cutting himself, having extraordinary supernatural strength. Another way you can tell if somebody's possessed is they'll talk to themselves in the third party like there's somebody else with them. Well, we don't like that. Well, who is we? They call it split personality, but what it is is a demon spirit. Multiple personality, split personality. Lord, have mercy. There, there's sometimes when, <laughs> there's sometimes I've noticed that certain people, when you go to their job, you, you want to be friendly, but you don't know which personality got up before them. They might be crazy. Crabby, cranky people. Instead of happy, clappy, they're, they're cranky, ranky. They're, they're just mean. <laughs> they don't know which, you don't know which personality got up with them that, that morning. And, and, you know, God help everybody. Lord, nobody's perfect. I understand that. But there's sometimes when there is definitely a spirit to blame. Just like with that woman and Jesus was preaching, he said, this woman's been bound 18 years by a demon power. That was not something that 
science could cure. That's not something pills could heal. That man needed deliverance. And I'm praying for that person's deliverance as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. But let me tell you something. Let's say you are possessed. Let's say you can't get over an addiction. It's just there. It keeps showing up repetitively, showing up in your life. It's an issue that seems to stay with your tissues. Let me say this. You can get out of that addiction through the power of the Holy Ghost of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Your stuff is on hold by hell. Matthew 12, 29. Jesus said, how can you go into the house of the strong man unless you first bind him up and steal his goods? Jesus came to set you free. You're saying, Brother HR, that's me. I'm bound. You may actually, that's right. Blood track, uh, blood contracts are like that in bloodlines. You're right. And that's how a lot of people get possessed when they're birthright. Some demons come in through the birthright. They go from generation to generation. So right now, if you're watching the hour for revival telecast and you're saying brother hr i'm not sure where i stand with god if you can't lift your hand from your chest to the air you're a hundred percent lost if you'll say brother hr that's me i'm ready to meet the lord if he comes or calls i can lift my hand and say i'm ready to meet jesus and this part of the message is not for you but if you if you can't lift, if you say, Lord, I'm not sure where I'd spend eternity if I was to die today, then this message is for you. Pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe that you died upon the cross, that God the, the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Lord Jesus, wash me. Cleanse me, fill me with your precious Holy Spirit that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Well, glory, hallelujah, it's done. In the name of Jesus, it's done. Amen, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Now, if you're sick in your body, if you're oppressed, Sick and tired of being sick and tired because there's a demon oppressing your mind. There's a demon oppressing your body. Right now, I charge every demonic attack by the power of the Holy Ghost of God. I charge every tormenting spirit, every troubling and hindering spirit. Loose you and let you go free in the name of Jesus. I said, turn them loose and let them go in Jesus' name. Let the grave clothes go at Tandere in the name of Jesus. Right now, you might have to pull over. Some of you might throw up. Some of you might just spit up snot or whatever. But right now, I command that demon to turn you loose that oppression to go and for joy to return back to your life in the name of Jesus. Joy to return back to your life. Your finances to be restored. I command the hole that was in your pouch to be sewed up supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Do it now, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Lord, I rebuke every tormenting devil, every spirit of suicide, every spirit of anxiety, oppression, depression, possession. I charge it by Christ. Turn them 
loose and let them go free. Go back to hell, devil, and be bound to your day of judgment by the Holy Ghost power in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory, hallelujah. If you would like the power of the Holy Ghost in your life, if you've never been baptized in the Holy Ghost, or if you have, and you just want a refreshing, right now is your opportunity. Do it, Lord Jesus, because Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. Literally, this car is rocking as I'm under the anointing right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, for your glory. Rosha korenda basaya. Benda raba handedehese. Branda la kashchanda. Bresha henda rabosaya. Henda rabosaya. Fire. 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 Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. In Jesus' name. Washing of the water of the word. I do that prophetically in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Glory. Hallelujah. I love you. God bless you. If you love the mess, please like share and subscribe hit the bell notification on youtube for more videos just like this father thank you for showing up and showing out <laughs> i really was going to try not to shout tonight but it's in my dna to shout i reckon thank you jesus praise the lord amen i love y'all god bless thank you for tuning in to hr revivals where it's always the hour for revival i am your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Actually, you know what? I, I just had to tell y'all the cutest story before I hang up tonight. Before I hang up, I'm on the phone. That's funny. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I was going to tell you, my niece and I was going to the islands there, Lake Lanier Islands, driving in the car with her mama and it was so cute what happened she was with her friend and we were sitting there all of a sudden she uh starts doing the routine that i do for every video carson god, god bless you son i love you amen praise the lord thank you jesus go back and watch the video if you can that's awesome bless the lord amen thank you jesus Amen. But anyways, we were uh, in the car and she said, thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, uh, where it's always the hour for revival. I am your brother in the Lord, brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. She's got that thing down pat. She really does. But it blesses my heart to watch the children do that. And like everybody does it, not just children. I'm around pastors. My Everybody in the family does that. And I love it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Jesus. It touches my heart beyond words. More than any human being, more than anybody will ever be able to understand, it touches me. To know that the next generation, I'm praying for them. If the Lord tarry, I'm praying that this last generation, the next generation is the last generation, by the way. I already know that in my spirit. This next generation coming up is the last generation. And my honest, earnest prayer from my soul is God help this generation catch it on fire. Let them burn. Let the young burn, Lord. It's their turn, God. Let them burn for you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Amen. Out of the mouth of babes. That's the exact same thing I thought about when, when she said that. Amen. I love y'all. God bless. Bye-bye.